Good evening. The checks aren't exactly in the mail, but the Nova Scotia government does seem anxious to get flood relief to Cape Breton. The province announced today it has started to accept applications for financial aid from the victims of last week's wild weather. The news comes as many families face the loss of their homes and possessions. CTV's Dan McIntosh has more. The sights and sounds of devastated neighborhoods continue to echo across parts of Sydney. Like many homes, this one reeks of furnace oil with flood damaged floors, walls and property. There's a no occupancy order on it, which means we're permitted to go in, but we can't live there which obviously if anybody looked inside, you, you'd know that anyway. Today, the province announced a disaster financial assistance program to help residents with flood damage. Transportation and Infrastructure Minister Jeff McClellan met with some of them as he toured the hardest hit areas. The program will cover up to $200,000 per household. McClellan says government worked quickly to put the program in place, releasing it as soon as possible. Many of the, of the, uh, the homes aren't insured because of the insurance policies and, and the rules around that. Uh, people have heavy mortgages, they've lost, lost everything that they own. We have to ensure that this isn't bogged down with red tape and it can't be the normal uh, bureaucratic process that takes months. People don't have months, uh, their lives are, are, are in shambles at this point. It should help, definitely if we could get our, uh, um, some of that. Application forms are available online and can be picked up next week at Access Nova Scotia centres, MLA offices and town halls. Yeah, it's talking about if you didn't get any insurance or very little insurance and whether your damages are going to be more than a certain amount, which definitely is going to be us. $200,000 is sounds like a lot of money and it is, but at the same time, you know, the house and contents, et cetera, et cetera, you know. So we'll see, you know, but I mean, we're grateful for any help at all, that's for sure. McClellan says that for now, there's no financial limit to the size of the program. Well, we didn't set uh, any particular cap. There, there's no uh, identified funding envelope. The, the general range we came up with for an estimate was about 10 million. Uh, so we'll, we'll uh, have the applications roll in, we'll go through the processes and we'll see where that number is. There is a $1,000 deductible on the application, but residents say that's little compared to the damages they face because of the flooding. Dan McIntosh, CTV News, Sydney.